Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to a much anticipated part 3 of Let's Go Eevee. Now, um, we are actually in Mount Moon right now, as you can see, and we are not going to capture any Pokemon along the way. I think I have Zubats already, so uh, that's fine you know, for running away and all that. So, we're going to release Mew from the Pokeball Plus, um, which we haven't really been doing uh even though i mentioned it in the last part so it is pretty strange and yeah so i am going to let me out the ball at the end of this part hopefully i remember if not it's going to be in the next part of the video um oh my goodness what's that flying in the room okay so uh let's get through mount moon hopefully Ooh, team rocket it's pretty nice to see um, Jesse and James being implemented in the game. Um, I think there was only one other Pokemon game that actually had Jesse and James included. So this is very very nice to, uh, to have in the series itself. Looks like there's nothing here. And let's just search farther in. Okay, further, I should say further, farther, I don't know. Pronunciations in English. Um, you, you were eavesdropping on us just now, weren't you? Meowth, you were supposed to be keep. What? You were supposed to be keeping watch? Oh, okay, so I thought the grammar was wrong for a moment. So apparently, Meowth in this game doesn't talk. So I think that's that's really um the set, uh, or rather the difference between the anime version of Team Rocket. And the ones in Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu, they might not be the same Team Rocket. Because um, this universe and the TV series universe is not exactly the same. So that's pretty interesting. Alright, so we know there are rare fossils buried around here somewhere. If you've got any, you better hand them over to us, Twerp. That's right, if anyone is going to profit off those rare fossils, it's going to be us. <laughs> okay, so the laugh doesn't <laughs> the laugh doesn't match my reading. Okay, so that's just really oh my goodness, the onyx is huge. Holy crap! <laughs> uh, oh, I, I was trying to run away from. Okay, let's try and catch this though. So okay, so a pokeball does give us a red rim. So I wonder where the great ball. Okay, at least it changes the yellow. We need a raspberry to make it easier to catch. Alright, am I ready? Here we go. Toss! Okay, that was off timing, but it's fine. Hopefully we catch it. Mm. This thing is humongous. It's not going to make things easy for us. Alright, let's do this. Let's catch this. Ah, oh, It's too high. Ah, oh, I thought we got it. <laughs> okay. Let's keep trying. Sadly, we don't have ultra balls right now. Oh my goodness. I'm wasting my balls. Uh, we sadly, yeah, like I was saying, we sadly we don't have ultra balls now. I know this will be a lot easier. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Hopefully you guys can hear that. Okay, let's keep moving on. So we're slowly collecting all the 152 Pokemon. of no, 153 Pokemon, so because Mel 10 and uh, uh, Mel Metal are now included into the Kanto decks. So we got 153 Pokemon instead of the original 151. We do have a trainer here. Alright, let's do this. So, we've been using Eevee a lot. Um, I guess that's how easy the game is. Um, really, because a lot of people online have been complaining that Let's Go at Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee have been too easy. Which I kind of agree. But, it really makes the, the focus of the partner Pokemon important. Because, that's how easy it is. 
So we can't use double kick though, so let's do a tackle on Butterfree. Because fighting moves are kind of pointless against the bug type. Ooh, confusion. Alright. So okay, we are definitely faster than the Butterfree. I don't think Butterfree has any like speed moves. Hmm. There you go. Hopefully a trainer comes up with a challenge and not I, I don't see a point of me changing Pokemon at all. Um hopefully maybe a gym leader will prove to be a bit difficult, then we can switch Pokemon in and out. Or maybe I could stop using Eevee in, in completion of the game. So But you know, it's it's your partner Pokemon. Why do we wanna leave him out of the fun? I mean her. I forgot my Eevee is now a female. <laughs> okay, so uh yeah, let's get out of Mount Moon as quickly as possible. It's still funny to look at Bell Sprout running around. Okay, what? I'm waiting for my friends to find me. No one will find you in a mountain, my goodness, girl. You go meet your friends at like some kind of city or town that is bus you know, bustling with people. Nobody will find you here. Why are you wearing school uniform in the mountains? Oh my goodness. Okay, we got Bell Sprout. I guess we could switch out EV to tackle handle Bell Sprout. Let's take a look. Let's see. We have a yeah, we do have PG, so let's let's switch out PG. Come on, Pidgey. Do your thing. We need a flying type to handle the plant types. That Bellsprout is bigger than a Pidgey. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's see, we have Gust. There we go. Super effective. Oh my goodness, it's not even enough to kill this thing. Okay. Alright. There we go. Oh, no, Sun Attack is pretty useless. Let's forget about learning it. Um, I mean, if, if there was a purpose for those moves, other than status effects, like you create some kind of special animation, that kind of thing. I think it would make the battle a lot more visually impressive. Sadly to say, Pokemon, let's go and let's go Pikachu. I mean, let's go Eevee and let's go uh, Pikachu. Haven't really improvised on battle animation, uh, considering that the graphics are such advanced compared to the um, previous seven main games. You know, they could have done something better with the animation. I mean, they did do um, animations for the special moves that the partner Pokemon do learn. But sadly to say, the rest of the moves, they are, well, lacking in the animation department. So, it kind of makes learning um, moves a bit pointless. You know, it could have made it more enticing, you know, for visual purposes. Alright, so Mount Moon isn't exactly very big, but because of the amount of trainers within the, the, the area itself, and you know, considering that in the past, um, Mount Moon was pretty annoying to handle due to all the constant Zubat appearances. Uh, now that we don't have that to handle, because the wild Pokemon are now appearing in the area and you can just avoid them, so Mount Moon. Oh, God dang it, uh, Mount Moon isn't that difficult to handle anymore. Um, I would say most of the caves are no longer a very big threat to time, um, you know, in terms of your hours played. Especially for the Indigo Plateau, I, not Indigo Plateau, um, is it Indigo Plateau? I can't remember which, <laughs> which mountain it was. Um, yeah, that was leading to the to the Elite Four. There we go. So at least we're playing around with all the super effective moves right now. 
Um, Eevee doesn't have a super effective move against um, plants and fighting Pokemon, that sort of thing. So I think that's the only reason why we could switch out Pokemon and have a more var variety in terms of gameplay. If not really, if Eevee becomes a Swiss Army knife, you know, because he can handle every kind of situ situation, which eventually it will become because of the amount of moves that are exclusive to Eevee. But still, you are only allowed to have four attacks. You know, so pick and choose. So we don't really have anything useful against Grimer though. Uh, I don't have a steel Pokemon, I don't have... Yeah. So I guess Eevee will do. Let's do this Eevee. Okay, not a lot of damage there. Oh nice, evaded. So like even the animation for Tackle is just shifting the artwork of Eevee. That's really lazy in terms of the animation quality we have here in Let's Go. Okay, let's do a quick attack to finish things off. So the good thing about the new Pokemon games that I really liked is that when your Pokemon is poisoned in battle, the poison doesn't stay on outside the battle. Like in the old games, when your Pokemon is poisoned and you walk every step, every few steps that you take, you take poison damage. That was very very annoying back then. And antidote antidotes were your best friend. <laughs> and I mean like for players like me who don't really like to use items a lot, you know. Having antidotes and potions and all that in your bag isn't exactly something very common. Um, so I guess, yeah, I don't know whether removing that um, point or rather that, that um, gaming factor would help you know, improve the, um, the need of players buying items from the Pokemon and using them on your Pokemon. You know, because in the past, I really never used anything like um, Antidote or Paralyzed Heal. The most I would buy is just a full restore and forget the rest about... I forget about the rest of the items. I Okay, so I can't really remember what Pokemon I have caught. So I'm going to go run away from this Zubat. I'm going to check my um, party and Pokemon box. Let me go you got Shake to check. So we do have Zubats. We don't have Geodus. Um, so I guess we could, maybe we could have Onyx come out. I'm gonna have this added to my party. I have nothing involved. Oh my goodness, so I could take out Bellsprout first. Um, then we're gonna have Onyx take out the ball. And we can write Onyx. There you go. Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, gigantic Onyxes. Side by side. Okay, we're gonna catch this Geodude. Um, <laughs> that was hilarious. Um, and add it to our Pokedex. So, I think we should be able to catch it with a Pokeball. We don't want to waste all the great balls right now. Yeah, yellow is fine. Oh, god dang it. So, get ready. Toss! There we go, we got an excellent. So... Ooh. Really hard to estimate the camera. <laughs> um, I think the I think the camera is a bit laggy. Um, I don't know why is that so because I'm actually using a different camera from the one I recorded on part two. Part two I was using my camera on the MacBook itself. Uh, that wasn't a very good camera, so I decided to try a different method. I'm using my iPhone eight um, currently to do the recording. Of the video so I'm not sure why it lags at certain portions or is it lagging in general as you can see there is a timer at the top here <laughs> I didn't realize it right now so yeah I'm actually mirroring the video onto the <laughs> program at the same time I'm recording it on my phone oh it's so strange <laughs> well 
when you're a starting YouTuber, you have to try things and then, you know, I don't know. It's it's fun. To me personally, I find it uh, entertaining to figure things out on my own. So, as you guys watch videos um, made by me, you know, you learn through the experiences that I go through myself. So, it's a win-win situation, I guess. Uh, it is a bit annoying to see that timer up there. So you can roughly tell how long in the video we have gone. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so we've caught ourselves a Geodude. Uh, eventually we will evolve them. Goodness gracious me, this Onyx is humongous. Um, I don't know. Does, if we catch a larger size Onyx, will it actually show the difference in size? <laughs> hey girl, talk to me. I want to fight you. So yeah. So let's say, for example, if you're, you caught a larger version of a riding Pokemon, will it actually show you the size difference? You know? Oh, Clefairy! So Eevee has a fighting move. Let's uh, bash uh, Clefairy up with that. We're gonna go double kick. Boot. Not a lot of damage. Hmm. What? Oh, wait! <laughs> I forgot, Clefairy is no longer just normal type in this game. Oh my goodness. Uh, so in the past, you, just, you could double kick Clefairy to its its doom. But now, uh, because now it's a fairy and normal type, oh my goodness. Uh, okay. So you can see um, my experience of nostalgia killing the experience in the newer version. Because of, you know, forgetting that they, there is a new typing for a certain Pokemon. Oh well. But I, I guess that's the whole part of the fun. You know, realizing things on your own. As you make mistakes, you learn stuff. Uh, that's life, you know. Alright. The Clefairy is gone. Is that all? I thought I leveled up. Alright. <laughs> so James doesn't even see a gigantic onyx behind. Oh, okay, he spotted me. Yikes, quick for. <laughs> so that was hilarious. Can you imagine that if you were just standing there and you didn't realize that um, I'm riding an onyx and I'm coming close to you, and then because your attack somehow is like purposely um, designed in a way that you do not actually observe your surroundings and then you just run away oh that would be damn hilarious like James didn't even notice us and then you know just walks off and says um, like um, I feel like someone is following us and then just walks off that would be really really hilarious there we go excellent throw all right, fantastic. Okay, so we caught Paras for our Pokedex entry. Onyx leveling up. So I, I, there, there's really no point for me to have Onyx in my party because Onyx doesn't evolve in this version. Is that he doesn't become Steelix and Let's Go? Because it's just the original 151 plus 2. <laughs> On attack. Oh, cool. Um, I guess I don't need focus energy. I don't know. Do I need pack? I mean, I could have Nidoran around and then not carry PG. Because he does have a flying move. Hmm. Alright, eventually I might remove either one of the Nidorans. You know, because they are basically the same thing, just that the gender is different. Um I, I guess I can remove focus energy. I mean I don't think I will have be having them in my main team. So oh who else? Who knows? Now you have bite? Okay, so I don't need scratch. 
Well, bite is definitely better than scratch. Here we go. So the Paris came out of nowhere. And we could go down. Can you imagine having Onyx burrow into that hole with the ladder? <laughs> and hole will be suddenly way bigger. Uh, oh wow, Paras is really tiny. Okay. Nuggets, we got more money. Fantastic. Zubat's all around. <laughs> I was trying to evade the Zubat and then Onyx popped out. Oh my goodness. So, guys, now you know, having a gigantic riding Pokemon is actually not so ideal in tiny caverns like this. Okay, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna get rid of Onyx because it's ridiculously annoying. Um Yeah, I forgot we had a shake. Okay, so let's get rid of Onyx. We're gonna have Bell Sprout put in again. Because I, I really like enjoy having the Bell Sprout running around like a frantic maniac. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Okay, we've got a trainer here. I think we're almost at the end of the cave. Just one level away. <laughs> I like the entry of Sentru. That is so fun. Yeah, you, can make, you can just paint him blue and he'll become like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> okay, so double kick for the Sentru. There we go. Okay, we might have some problems here. Hopefully we do land the hit and then we just finish the battle. Oh, Eevee is still poisoned, that's, that's kind of sad. So let's do a quick attack. There we go, we do land the hit. Fantastic. So in the past, we just take money from the trainers after defeating them. Now we're stealing Pokeballs from them as well. So that is really, really nasty. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know what Pokemon is trying to teach children. You know, like, you win a battle from others and you steal money from them. And yeah, this NPC in the past wasn't around. Where if you ran out of Pokeballs, you can just... I think he'll give you some... Or sell you some, I don't know. But I, I think it's mainly because of the new catching mechanism. You run out of Pokeballs way easier than in the past games. So, because now you can literally miss tossing your Pokeballs, uh, which is pretty annoying. Okay, Eevee, you can handle this. Alright, with a double kick, like we handle Brock. Hmm. Alright, so I guess our level gap is pretty obvious. So having Eevee is... Uh, I don't know, because when I was playing with in my Let's Go Pikachu game, I only had Pikachu with me. Whatever Pokemon I caught, I would just remove them later on. So Pikachu was really over leveled. Like if I was fighting this Geodude, my Pikachu would be probably level 6 level 22 or something like that so we'll end up having every single battle in the one hit KO style um, which most which is supposed to be um, if you basically had only one Pokemon with you instead of six all right okay so Marcos Hmm. Wait, he has another Pokemon? Oh no, I think we should switch because Eevee is definitely dying. Um, yeah, I guess the Nidoran is going to come into play right now because you do have double kick on you.
Here we go. Let's kick him. Ow! <laughs> I seriously pity the Pokemon if they ever have to go through a rock throw attack. Uh, it could literally die from a boulder crashing onto your skull at that speed. Okay. But then again, it's it's a video game. It's not real. I mean, if if Pokemon battles were real, I guess you I guess if Smosh were doing um, any more of those videos, <laughs> you know, if if Pokemon was real, if video games were real, that kind of thing, um, they could emphasize a bit more on uh, like the attack moves on Pokemon uh, in Pokemon battles, that kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I I don't know why it's a good idea to do such a video as well because. You know, there's Pita <laughs> in America, so that's pretty annoying. Hello, Meowth. Can I catch you? Don't run. I want to be your friend. Come back here. <laughs> Wait, what, what appeared? Okay, Zubats. No, don't need Zubats. Um... But revives and might come in handy later on as long as none of my Pokemon faint. Oh, okay, we're starting to see Team Rocket. Is this our first Team Rocket? No. Is this really our first Team Rocket battle? I think it is. Huh. There we go. Some difference in intro animation. Ooh, drowsy. Hmm. Okay, Eevee is gonna die. I don't know. I think Double Kick is a better choice right now because it has like two attacks. Oh wow. It's uh okay, so it's not Okay, that was my bad. I was, I was just making use of like the extra hits to do more damage. But apparently it doesn't do... Okay, we're going to switch Pokemon because Eevee is definitely going to die. Um, Psychic. Yeah. I don't know. Should I use Nidoran? I really can't remember the weaknesses. Um, is Poison weak against Psychic? Yeah. I think it is, but... Ah, uh, anyway, let's go with Bell Sprout. He needs a bit of action. <laughs> All right, so confusion. Oh wow. Okay. So I've learned something new here. <laughs> Plants are weak against psychic types. I think Bellsprout is going to go bye-bye. There we go. Oh my goodness, that's really bad. Um, that was really my fault, I think. <laughs> For not knowing my weakness to this chart. Uh, I mean, I used to know it so well. But considering how long it's been since I played a Pokemon game, you know, things, things get forgotten. <laughs> but it's, I think forgetting certain things is fine as well. I mean, I enjoy learning stuff, so relearning everything again is not too bad. I mean, it's enjoyable in its own way. Um, yeah, so I don't know about you guys. So if you guys enjoy relearning things from time to time, do let me know. I would love to hear what your thoughts are about it. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you actually enjoy relearning certain things that you've already learned before and forgotten, you know, to to enlighten yourself a bit more with life, to enjoy life a bit more um, wholesomely because of learning something new. Alright, so 
Let's move on. Bellsprout has fainted though, so... <laughs> I was wondering why is he still running around outside the ball? Shouldn't he be like resting in the Pokemon till you send him to a Pokemon Center? Hmm. Okay, so I think we should definitely heal Eevee. Um let's go to the medicine bag. We do have an antidote. There we go, we cured Eevee of its poison. Okay, potions. I don't think it's wise to use a revive on Bell Sprout at this point in time. Excuse me. Um, because it's just the beginning of the game. And it's kind of meaningless. There you go, Team Rocket. So aren't those dark colored things fossils? <laughs> They're just rocks, guys. Alright, Meow, go get those fossils. Uh, Meow is still here. Should I should I help by kicking him down there? <laughs> oh my goodness, what was that? Oh crap, table! Holy crap! Okay, I really did not expect to see this wow at this point of time. Um, let's see, can we capture this thing? Let's try and do our best. Uh, if we do capture it, we don't need a moonstone to evolve a Kaferi in the future. Oh my goodness, I tossed it too far. There we go. Excellent. Hopefully it goes in. Yeah! We caught a Clefable. So that saves us one Moonstone. So that's fantastic. And we don't have... We don't have Clefairy though, so... Hmm. <laughs> Still need to catch a Clefairy. Unless... The thing about Pokemon... I don't know whether you guys have ever played the um, card game before. In the Pokemon card game, there was a trainer card called The Evolution Spray back in the Wizard of the Coast era. Um, I, I don't know whether the newer series of the Pokemon card games did reprint The Evolution Spray, but I don't think there was. Um, considering how far I played in the TCG, I don't really recall seeing The Evolution Spray being reprinted at all. So, yeah, I'm surprised that that item never existed in the Pokemon game itself. Um, it would be pretty handy. You know, like, let's say, for example, if you want to get a Pichu, you can just catch a Pikachu and then use a De-Evolution Spray and it becomes a Pichu again. That would be fantastic. So, I don't know. So we got ourselves a Clefable. Pretty interesting. <laughs> so, in my play of Let's Go Pikachu, um, I caught, I didn't catch a Clefable in Mount Moon, I did see a Clefairy by Ren on me, um, but my rare caught, uh, my rare catch in Mount Moon was actually a Chansey, uh, really out of nowhere, a Chansey just popped up, and I caught it, and it really, it really made, you know, completing the Pokedex a lot easier, uh, although Chansey can be a bit easy to come by um, later on um, after you've completed the game and you go and um, visit the cave where Mewtwo is you know um, Chansey appears there pretty frequently so uh, I don't know you know having the Safari Zone in this game um, disappear you know, so if you guys haven't really played that far into the game, or you've not watched any of the other play uh, YouTubers out there who have actually played Let's Go uh, series, um, I, I appreciate it if you guys actually follow my series of Let's Go, um, which is very, very appreciative. <laughs> um, but I'm sure right now it isn't a very big surprise, it's not really spoiler content. Um, anymore because the game has been released for over a month now, I suppose. Um, and yeah, the Safari Zone is no longer around in the Let's Go series. So, Eevee, and rather Chansey, Taurus, all the rare Pokemon that you usually would catch in the Safari Zone are now out in the wild. So, apparently in this game, Chansey, Taurus, 
are pretty easy to catch as compared to the first three generation games um, where the appearance rate and the catch rate was freaking ridiculous back then when Safari Zone still existed. So yeah, I'm completely ignoring all the text from all the Team Rocket members when talking about all this stuff. Oh, that was just hilarious. Okay, so um, I remember there's an item here, I think. Oh, don't tell me they changed it. I remember in the old game, the item was there. Hmm. Alright, hey, stop. I found these fossils. They are both mine. Um, I, I, mean, I mean, it's okay. Honestly, I don't really think I need one. Why do we have to fight for it? Dude, if you want both of them, just explain. You know, I could let you have both of them. I don't really need one. I can transfer the two fossil Pokemon for Pokemon Go. <laughs> uh, okay, so anyways, um, yeah, let's just do double kick again because twice the amount of damage, I suppose. Yeah, so... I, I don't think Tackle would actually do the same amount of damage as a uh, double kick. So... Okay. Um, let's do a quick attack, just cause. I don't know, I, definitely a Voltorb will never be faster than an EV, unless. You know, but our EV is a perfect IV EV, so I don't think they would be faster than me. Okay, so we do have Magnemite, so double kick is definitely going to be useful here. There we go, one hit KO with the double kick. Fantastic. Alright, so, hmm, okay, in my game of Let's Go Pikachu, I did choose the one with Omanite, so I'm going to pick the one with Kabuto right now. Just in, you know, just cause. When, like I said earlier, I could transfer the missing fossil Pokemon to the game via Pokemon Go. So I don't know. Um, in the past, it was fun. You know, like you buy both versions of the game and then trade. You know, with a friend or within yourself if you own two Game Boys back then and a link cable. Um, <laughs> I bet most of the younger generations now would probably have no idea how trading systems work back then. Yeah, you had to have like two Game Boy consoles and a trading link cable. Yes, link cables were a thing. <laughs> so it was actually fascinating um, a time period of gaming. Link cables were really cool. If you had the link cable and you went around with a Game Boy, you know, and you played Pokemon, the the kids around you would probably think of you as like a superstar, an idol because you you own something that they probably didn't have. Like um, back when I remember when I was playing Pokemon Yellow on the Game Boy, my first generation Game Boy, um, I had Link Cable and I would always bring it around because I was I was quite a hardcore game I think Pokemon fan back then, um, and. I will always be going around trying to complete the 151 Pokemon just just cause it was oh my goodness there's another clear fable I don't need another one so um yeah so the kids will always come to me and like um did you bring your link cable did you bring your link cable because some of them want to trade with each other and they don't they didn't have a link cable um because you know the parents wouldn't buy the link cable for them because it was kind of pointless, um, it's, it felt like a waste of money because the cable will only work if you have another console around. But you know, because maybe they're the only child, or they don't want the other sibling in the family to persuade the parents for buying a second console so that they could do trades, that kind of thing. Because back then, game consoles were very, very expensive, unlike the current generations, um, where the economy is a bit better and. The parents are a bit richer than the parents back then um, so yeah it was 
really interesting time of gaming and I am not reading all the text that's currently going by. <laughs> yeah, so I guess they are introducing themselves like the TV animation. Yeah, there you go. And the two of us are going to take the fossil back. Uh, okay, so our first battle with Team Rocket... Oh, I forgot. This is a tech battle. Bellsprout is still fainted, so... I guess it's Eevee and Pidgey? <laughs> so, I remembered. Um, I remember playing this part in my Let's Go Pikachu version. I only had Pikachu, and that was horrendous. So, <laughs> my Pikachu was up against two Pokemon. Um, yeah, it was really, really terrible. Um, I remember being poisoned by both of them. It was so horrendous. Um, oh, okay, it wasn't PG, it's Rattata. So, um, it was so bad. And Pikachu was dying so badly from these two. It made Team Rocket really like a badass um, enemy rival, I guess. So it I've never I've never looked up to James and Jesse's coughing and Ekans before until let's go um, Pikachu um, because really that battle itself was really an eye opener. You never thought you would see coughing and Ekans really dish out so much damage um, that it will cause you to like panic like oh my goodness I I don't want to end up fainting in this early of the game. Um, because I only carried my my partner Pokemon, and you know because both Pokemon of the opponent's team ended up using like poison moves, and my Pikachu got poisoned straight away off the bat. So ooh, okay. So Atkins is definitely um, a big threat. So I don't know. Let's try a tail whip just in case. I probably should have done the tail whip earlier. Okay, so at least we now have uh, assurance that once I do quick attack, uh, Atkins will definitely die. Uh, that's that's really oh. Okay, let's see who's faster, Rattata or Eevee. <laughs> okay, so definitely Eevee because Eevee is higher level than Rattata. Rattata, however you want to pronounce it, I pronounce it as Rattata. I've been pronouncing it that way since I was a kid before any of the nonsense of how to pronounce Pokemon's names correctly ever occurred. So to me, it's Rattata, uh, Rattata, Rattata, I don't know. Uh, I've been pronouncing it as Rattata, so... <sighs> Fight me! <laughs> so, oh my goodness, James' expression is oh ridiculous. And uh, looks like Team Rocket's blasting off! Where's the again? Okay, so... Okay, it is the first time we're meeting them, so... I don't expect them to say it again. I forgive you. <laughs> Look at Eevee's face. <laughs> what is this face? Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pat you because you deserve it. No, why you don't like it? No, no, why do you not like it? Okay, wrong spot. No, no, stop. There we go. So I really do not like shake. I really do not like um, playing or poke with your Pokemon with the Pokemon Plus. It is so. It is so not accurate in terms of pinpointing location. Uh, it's the same thing as the Joy-Con. So I really, I really, really do like to do this um, with the touch screen instead. So yeah, that's really my opinion on this. Alright, let's get out of here. Woo! Wow. So this, I guess this whole video is really just us traveling through the Mount Moon. Uh, woo! 
Finally, we are out. Okay, we do have a Pokeball here. Some more Pokeballs from the Pokeball. Well, we found something that's crap. Hey, nice. So there's another item up there. Um, I know for a fact that that one cannot be obtained um, just yet because it's um, at that place where you need to surf to get there. Oh my goodness, a sparrow. Do we have a sparrow? Oh, Psyduck. So let's check first. Do we have a sparrow and a Psyduck? Um, we do have a sparrow. We don't have a Psyduck, so we could catch a Psyduck. There you go. So, side up. I think we can use the Pokeball for this. Don't want to waste the Great Balls. There we go. Everything's so yellow. Oh my goodness, the ring is yellow and side up is yellow. Oh! There you go, side up's in the ball. So, Rattata is learning Bite. Um, yeah, we're gonna get rid of Tackle because Tackle is the same damage as Quick Attack and Quick Attack is faster, so why have Tackle? Here we go. Okay, any more Pokemon that we can catch that is exclusive to this grass patch? No need Spearow. Oh, Ekans! Okay, okay, Ekans. Snake in the grass, okay. So, Pokeball is fine as well. There we go, excellent troll. Yeah, one ball! Fantastic! Oh yeah, speaking of trading from the past, you know, with the link cable and all that, you know, like, in the Pokemon Center, there used to be a second level, where you have all the different NPCs for, like, different trades. Um, like, one will be for trading, one will be for battling, uh, I can't remember what the third one was for, but yeah, th that's just off the bat from my memory um, of my nostalgia days of Pokemon back then. So yeah, if you guys actually do play Pokemon from back then, generally from back then in the 1980s, 1990s, um, let me know down in the comments down below, um, what do you miss about the old games that were not implemented into the Let's Go series? Uh, I definitely miss the link cable trades. I mean, um, being able to sync with Pokemon Go is definitely made this game a lot easier to play because you could trust send the Pokemon over from Pokemon Go. That is if you can find them in Pokemon Go. Um, like the region exclusive Mr. Mine, Kangaskhan and all that stuff. You probably can't get them as easily unless you're living in those countries. Um, and sending them over to your Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee game. Um, yeah, so if not, catching those Pokemon in the game itself might actually be easier than catching them in, in Pokemon Go and sending them over here. So, but still, um, being able to send Pokemon from Let's Go to Let's... Uh, Let's sorry, sending Pokemon from Le uh, Pokemon Go to Let's Go is definitely a big help in terms of completioning the completing the 153 Pokemon um, so yeah okay so we're gonna heal up the ooh we saw something the fountain what about the fountain uh, Bellsprout noticed the fountain too 
What? Throw money in the fountain? Okay, fine. So I threw... Uh, Eevee, what are you gonna do? Wait, so throwing money in the fountain made Eevee happy? Is that all? Okay. <laughs> I guess Bellspare was just thirsty. Legend about the Fountain of Serenity. If you throw money in the fountain, your Pokemon... Uh, with your Pokemon, you'll be very... Oh! I don't know. It would probably be more effective if this version of the game let me evolve EV to uh, future generation evolution because those that need friendship and all that stuff um, like um, Leafy no no not Leafy um, um, Nymphia um, just the Japanese name Sylveon, Sylveon. Sylveon is his English name. Nymphia is actually the Japanese name of Sylveon. So, um, yeah, so Sylveon needs, um, I would say, friendship between, um, or rather the closeness between the partner and uh, the Pokemon and the trainer. So, the fountain will probably be more useful in that sense. So, we do meet the first. Um, NPC that lets you lets Eevee learn a very exclusive move. Sure. Oh, it teaches three. So in Let's Go Pikachu, it, they only teach you one move. So Pikachu only learns a total of five different special moves. So this one, Eevee has a whole list. Um, that's why a lot of people say that Let's Go Eevee is actually the easier one to play. But so far. Personally, from all the three parts that we, I've recorded so far, I think Let's Go Eevee is the harder one to handle at the beginning because you don't have all these exclusive moves until this late into the game. So, hmm, Bouncy Bubble is a water move. Buzzy Buzz, we do need electric type moves because we're going to fight Misty soon, so I guess we could learn that. I don't know. So we can remove Tackle because Tackle is the same damage as Quick Attack like I've mentioned many times already. So I don't know, can we talk to him again to learn more of the moves? Oh yes we can! So we do have a Water type move here. I think Bun... yeah. So Water type move... In this case we don't really need a Fighting move. Um, but fighting moves is useful against Magnum Might until we learn a fire move, I guess. So we're gonna learn all three of the moves from this fire fella. So we do have the fire, water, and lightning move. So I can get rid of double kick right now because I don't need double kick anymore, considering that I have rock covered, ground covered, and yeah, metal covered, so yeah, I don't need double kick anymore, so that's fine. Alright, so Eevee is all good to go, he's become too powerful for his own good. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon, um, and we're gonna bring Mew in from the Pokeball Plus. Um, yeah, hopefully the recording is all good and dandy because I'm a bit afraid of bringing Mew over from the Pokeball Plus into the game right now because if the recording doesn't go well, Mew, you guys will probably will never see Mew or would have probably never seen Mew transferred from the Pokeball Plus to Let's Go Eevee or Pikachu uh, with me if the recording goes bad. So, hmm. So if you guys are watching this part where I'm talking about the video recording might go bad, it's probably because it went well. <laughs> You're gonna see Mew transferred from the Pokemon Plus. So, guys, let's do this. We're gonna transfer Mew from the Pokemon Plus so I can finally put Eevee inside here, and you guys can see what um, leveling up Eevee is like with the Pokemon Plus 
when I bring this out and uh, to work and all that stuff so that he can collect the walking distances. So Evie is so happy about it. So he's gonna have new friend coming in. Ah, oh, sorry. There we go. I'm gonna scratch you just a bit. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get Mew in right now. I'm gonna press the menu. I guess it's under save if I'm not wrong. This one. So place a Pokemon in Pokemon Plus. Pokemon is a Pokeball Plus, it's a present. Connect your Pokeball Plus with the game as a controller and select mystery gifts. You can take your Pokemon. Oh! Okay, mystery gifts. So, where is the mystery gift? Let me check. Where is mystery gifts? Under communicate? Ah, oh, there we go. Pokeball Plus. Yes! So here we go, we're gonna get Mew. So make sure the Pokeball Plus is fully charged before you do this. Um, if not, when it's transferring and it runs out of battery, your Mew is gone forever. <laughs> so let's do this. Okay, we're gonna transfer Mew. I don't know whether you cry out. Here we go. There you go, Mew. So it doesn't make a sound. Okay, so no sound from the Pokemon Plus. There we go, we have Mew, the 151 Pokemon in Pokemon First Generation. Pretty nice. Hey. Okay, so I don't know whether there's any mystery gifts right now from the internet. We could check before ending this video, so there is nothing. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to end the video right here. Um, like I said, the journey through Mount Moon isn't as treacherous as in the past. But it did take up a pretty amount of time. I guess it's mainly because I bled quite a bit <laughs> during this, this playthrough. So anyway guys, thank you much so much again for watching this video uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the let's play series well let's go Eevee with me um, I will be releasing the next part um, pretty soon um, my off days from work are coming around the corner so I will have more time for that and of course I will be starting on another part of the let's play for Marvel spider-man as well if you guys are watching this video you are the first to find out um, I will be doing the DLC content since all the DLCs are already released at this point of time. So we're going to do all of them at one go um, instead of waiting for one after the other um, since they're not released at that point of time. Um, you know, because DLCs come out periodically. So I, I prefer to play them all at one go. At least we have a more continuation flow and I have a more sense of um, what I'm doing. Um, instead of playing and stopping and playing and stopping, you tend to forget certain things. And Eevee is looking peaceful and saying goodbye to you guys. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching for the third time. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this adventure so far. Do let me know by hitting that like button down below. Um, down below. <laughs> subscribe if you have not subscribed just yet. Hit the bell notification icon so that you guys will be notified by YouTube. Whenever I upload a video, because you know, as you can see from my scheduling, if I have a job, it's gonna affect me uploading um, regularly. So, guys, thank you guys once again. I'll see you guys in the next part of Let's Go Eevee. Till then, bye.